What's up everybody, welcome to Race Tech. My name is Wyatt and today we're gonna to talk about how to properly install your forks and front wheel to make sure the front end's riding right. So we went ahead and got this bike prepped. We've got our front wheel off the motorcycle. We went ahead and installed our forks onto the bike. Things we wanna keep in mind, you just wanna make sure your forks are at the exact same height. So in this case, we have just the cap sticking up or flush with the top of the tube. Um, it's a great starting point if you don't know where to start. If you have a preferred spot, um, a line or two up, that's awesome, you'll just go ahead and set them there and go ahead and torque your triple clamps. So torquing triple clamps is very important. If you over tighten them, you can actually affect the way the forks work and cause a binding. A lot of times manufacturer torque specs, best way to go. If you don't know them off the top of your head, 17 foot pounds on the top, 14 foot pounds on the bottom for dirt bikes um, is a pretty good starting spot. Won't create any issues, any kind of wear or anything like that. Um, it's a great spot to start. So we've gone ahead and got our forks on the bike. We've got everything torqued. We'll go ahead and start putting on our front wheel. We'll go ahead and install our axle nut. Cool, so we went ahead, we got our axle through our wheel, but we still have all our pinch bolts loose. So essentially when we put the axle into the wheel, the big end of the axle bumps up against our wheel spacer and we'll pull the entire wheel tight to our brake caliper side. Um, so first thing we wanna do is get that axle nice and tight so that the wheel's pulled against that and then we'll go ahead and set our pinch bolts. So the easiest way to go ahead and get our axle pulled tight against our spacer is go ahead and tighten just one pinch bolt. It doesn't have to be super tight, just enough to hold it. And we'll go ahead and tighten our axle on the opposite side. So as we tighten our axle, the big end of the axle is actually pulling up against our wheel spacer and tightening it to this one fork. So we've got our axle tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and move over and loosen this pinch bolt that we had snugged up. We're gonna come back to this side and we're gonna go ahead and tighten our pinch bolts on the brake caliper side. So now that we have the axle and everything tight on that side, we wanna go ahead and on this side, we wanna make sure that our pinch bolts are loose. There's no tension holding that fork foot. We wanna go ahead, push in on the fork foot, make sure that it has movement in as well as out. That's gonna tell us that there's nothing between the axle and the fork lug that's gonna bind and create our forks to actually V in and pinch or be actually widespread and create any kind of stiction in our tubes. If you go to push it in or pull it out and it's stuck, we need to go ahead, pull the axle out and dress up either the fork lug or the axle to where you get a nice free movement. So next thing we wanna go ahead and do, make sure that our front wheel is perfectly straight. We'll go ahead and take the wheel, we'll spin the wheel and just jab the brakes a few times. We want a violent jerk of the brake. And what that's gonna do is kind of shake the fork foot and let that fork foot sit freely on the axle. Once we do that a few times, we'll go ahead and grab our wrench and we'll snug up our pinch bolts. So now that we went ahead and got this front end all tightened up, uh, we know that our forks aren't V'd in or flared out, which is gonna cause any kind of crazy binding, um, which will add premature wear, anything like that in the fork tubes. Uh, we know this thing will ride nice and plush. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Go ahead and check us out on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to call in here to Racetech or racetech.com um, for anything you need.